How many times? I think it's about. <laughs> well, it's between 16 and 18 years, I think. Wow. Yeah, I've been here and uh, I, I'm becoming a fixture. <laughs> so, when you sell a house, the fixtures cannot be removed, remember. <laughs> According to the law, it had to be there. And I'm really glad to be here and see so many beautiful place, uh, faces from different places, <laughs> okay? And when I talked about places, last year I also had a record year. I traveled to more than 11 countries, all in one year. Yeah, and I've been last year four times to Beijing, twice to Guangzhou. So, so I was talking about the high-speed train from Hong Kong to Guangzhou, exactly 55 minutes, two stops. From Hong Kong to China, I would say one-third to half full. By the moment you go to Shenzhen border, 100% full. And then stop one more at Human, the tiger door, I call it. And then it's just jammed up. And then to Guangzhou, really something, 55 minutes. I put the water on the table, it doesn't even move a bit. <laughs> okay, so just advancement. And second is uh, last year, February 26, I became keynote speaker at Google. So I also spoke for them for one and a half years. And they just texted me, asking me if I can speak on January 25th at Google again. I said no. Had to be after February 4th. Because my whole January has been booked. When people want to see me in January, the wait time is one month. Every day, average, I'm 12 hours booked. OK, so. Pretty hard, and then by February, even crazier, but not with the normal appointments, mainly 20 speeches average. <laughs> okay, and kept coming up. So, just want to let you know uh, what I do. And a gentleman asked me before we got started, what is geomancer? Everybody got my card or my booklet. Geomancer means feng shui master. It's actually uh, with a very good Latin background. Geo is earth, man is mankind. CY is a science of, and CER is a practitioner of. So I'm a practitioner of harmonizing between earth and mankind. And as of today, I, I am advisor in Canada alone, advisor to 39 builders and nine banks. I'm also advisor to the largest developer in China, and I'm advisor, personal advisor, to the number nine, number 10 wealthiest men in Indonesia. Okay, so I'm also advisor to the largest developer in all of Indonesia. Currently, I'm handling 23 projects as advisor in Jakarta alone, totaling $2.1 billion US. So if I say start, they start, if I say stop, the whole project stops. So one word from here. So that's what I do. So it's not just organize things, it's to predict the future of projects. Do it or don't do it, or when to do which one. And that's the major advice I gave to a lot of builders in Toronto too. Because if they hit the wrong market at the wrong time, they would be dead in the water. So timing is everything. Now second, I want to explain is this a voodoo thing here, predicting the future, or is it superstition? Wow, okay. I honestly, honestly, my background is I'm a scientist. Okay, I graduated from University of Waterloo Computer Science in 1972. And I got my business administration degree from University of Toronto in 1974. Okay, I guess that's beyond some of uh, you young folks. And today, my lunar age, about this year, my lunar age is 73. Okay, so can, the reason how you can keep healthy and young forever, because my other wing, <laughs> my other background, is I officially, I'm 20th generation internal disciple of the Shaolin Temple. So I'm a Qigong and martial arts master for that, which I don't, don't show off, but anyways. <laughs> 
But I do have 106 disciples worldwide, and people follow my uh, Tai Chi and exercises already exceeded 5,000 people in Canada alone. So they're all over the world. Okay, that, so that's the other thing I do. And I do all those absolutely for free, no charge. And I still teach Qigong every uh, Tuesday night to my disciples, Friday night to my friends and guests, and Monday, uh, Sunday morning Tai Chi absolutely for free. I think in life we must learn to give and take, take and give cannot be one-sided, that's yin and yang. When life is balanced, then you're okay. Now the third thing is, there are two secret codes in our human life, we may or may not realize it. The code today we recognized, it's called the DNA, that controls our physical body. Mind you, if you talked about DNA 100 years ago, they, they would think you're voodoo, you're black magic, you're crazy. Okay, but today we know it exists. Actually, there's a second code. Especially recognized people at my age or slightly younger or something. When you've gone through so many years in your life, you flash back in your life, you can help to think, wow, there's something there. Why certain things happen? Why certain things can happen? And this is called the life code. So what we do, or what I do anyways, as a professional is to find out the secret of this code. So to the personal level, it's called live reading. Some of you have done it with me, okay? And live reading is no good unless you can achieve over 90% accurate. The accuracy is very important because it's a precision science, okay? And then actually yesterday someone came to see me. He said if he would have known me 20 years later, at least he would have saved $240,000 today because of the divorce. <laughs> I said that's the absolutely worst timing for you to get married. You should not even touch it. You touch it within five years, you will divorce, and the divorce dragged on for five years, and still dragging on. Okay, so certain things you could avoid if you know what's going to happen later. So that's a personal level. But everything has cycles. The earth has cycles, we know that, otherwise you don't have the four seasons. Okay? And then the day has cycles, so otherwise you don't have morning and evening. Okay? But with that alone, I'd like to share one philosophy I discovered after so many years. During the daytime, 24 hours, can you tell me when does night begin? What time does night begin? 12 noon. When does daylight begin? 12 midnight. So life is the same. When you hit the bottom, the next is bounce up. When you're at the top, be careful you may fall down. That's a philosophy. So in fact, if you look at that, the daylight begins to come in, like the Tai Chi symbol after midnight, and afternoon, the evening time begins to set in. Okay, so during the year, the same. During the 22nd, the longest day of the year, begins the winter. December 21, longest night of the year, begins spring. Life is the same. If you look at life that way, you know how to handle it better. So everything has cycles. So economy has cycles. Business has cycles, depending on what business. But countries have cycles, okay, and everything. And 2019 is a very extraordinary year. Because this year happens once every 81 years, okay? So last time a similar year happened was 1938, second year when Japan invaded China. And, and then the Second World War in Europe, okay? So that was the good old history. But what about this year? Why is it like that? Because all the stars, the nine stars go back to the original position this year. That means for the world, 2019 is a major change. And it is also a change of the pendulum. If you look at it this way, you got the scale here. For the last 150 to 200 years, because of the wars in Europe, because USA has hardly dealt with any major disasters or wars in the world, because they are away from the continent, 
in Europe, so USA gone way up. And China, because the life cycle's gone to hell for almost 200 years. So the switch point is 2019. Because 2019 is a double eight year. The controlling power 2019 is eight, and the star is also eight. And the number eight meaning central position, meaning earth position. So 2019 is when the yeast and west pendulum begins to switch. But whenever things happen that way, the key word is change. And the second key word is instabilities. So don't expect anything stable. But if you are an optimist, instabilities also mean opportunities. So we're going to see tons of changes for almost every country, especially North America and China. That's why you see so many things happening. The arguments between Canada and China, all these were supposed to be, cannot be avoided. Okay, so everybody had to learn a lesson about the future. That's very important. So now my speech will be divided into a few parts. Part one is I'm going to give you the positioning of different countries in the world, how they're going to fare. So to be really talking about this will take more than three hours. So I'm going to make it short. Okay. Because in 2011, when I was keynote speaker at University of Beijing, I spoke on Yi Jing alone for three and a half hours to a bunch of professors. And they never heard something like that. How I could use Yi Jing to correlate the universe back to Earth and back to mankind, how the whole system works. And they were saying it's an eye-opener. But that's a professional speech for three and a half hours without a single word of notes. Okay. Now, so second would be how the politics are going to function among different countries. Number three, the world economy, what kind of world work our businesses should do or should avoid. The last would be the world pet weather pattern together with the health pattern. So these are the five major issues we're dealing with year after year. Now, because we're in the life cycle of eight, okay, and this cycle would end at 2023. So China is not at the peak yet, okay, because China's peak begins 2024 until 2043, 20 years. So it's still in between cycles. But because eight, this year is its first change point. So the money center is in the center, in the central. Central is, with, now the way we dissect the world is like this. We classify China as a center part. Because the Chinese word China means country of the center. Anybody know when the word China first came? Anybody study history? No, no idea. F from the Qin Dynasty. China, the original word, country of Qin. Country of Qin. That's why Japan, during the time of invading China, called China, China. Meaning the land of the Qin Dynasty. But then it became an insult for some reason. Okay, so the central part, that means the money center is in China this year. You can't go wrong with it. No matter what the media say, now one secret to, to be successful, if when everybody says one thing, especially media, do the opposite. That way you become a multimillionaire. <laughs> now this is mathematical. This is very mathematical. It's just proven. I proved it. Okay, I'll give you one example about this. Toronto, how many uh, people can make over a million dollars a year, you guessed, in Toronto? Accountants, statisticians, no one? Yeah. How many percentage? I would say less than 0.01%, right? Am I correct? Say 1% to exaggerate. But how many people usually pop up or voice like crazy? 90% of people. That means if you look at the vast majority of mankind, 90% are losers. Only 10% are winners. Okay, winners usually hush it, don't, they don't say anything. <laughs> because they get beaten up if they say something. Okay, so that means if 90% say go east, you go west. 90% say go south, you go north. 
you have better chances of succeeding. Tons of money. So, for example, real estate last year was terrible at the end because of the government, not because of the economy. Okay. Create a tremendous opportunity to buy. So if you're careful, you buy, within 10 years, you're going to double the And I've proven it myself. Okay. I started my first house $20,000. Now, today, I own over $10 million of properties. Over this, since 1975. Mm -hmm. So it should be done. Yeah. So just be gutsy and move forward. And don't be cheated. So that means if the money center is in China, like Bob said, it's good to put money into the OAN for the future. Mm -hmm. Now, but it's an easy job, difficult job. Because the other side, not just the star eight is good, but also is governed by a second star called the Yijing star. In China, it's called the mountains. That means for China to achieve that level, it would be someone like climbing up the mountain and extremely difficult. Tons of hard work, tons of opposition, but they will make a lot of hard work. Now, then we switch to something that's close to heart. Canada, the North, and Russia. Both countries are classified as North and classified as Water. Now, last year, when I say last year, May 2018, Canada actually suffered tremendously. Because last year, Canada was in the worst position of the stars. It's in the five yellow star and triple conflict position. Lots of mistakes, and lots of crazy policies. And they're killing the economy. They're killing the economy. Because 2018 was so bad. Okay? Triple conflict means arguments, robberies. Five yellow means major confusion. Okay? And money loss. And all that happened. Look at what's going on. Even we are still in 2018 until February the 3rd. Okay, so it's not over yet. But 2019, this lovely country that I've been in, this year I've been here for 51 years. Okay, I've been here since 1968. So uh, this is my, my soul, my body, my home. Okay, so 2019 Canada will be smarter because it's governed by the number four. A lot of Hong Kong people thought four means that is garbage. But four is one of the absolutely best numbers. I will never live in a house without the number four. So my house is number 24. And one is not enough, I'll make it two. <laughs> okay, all right? So four means scholarship, meaning analysis, power, smart power. So Canada is in the number four. That means people are shopping up, becoming smarter. Hopefully the government does the same. There will be a lot of uh, inventions done in Canada. So Canada's natural resource background had to change in 2019 to something more intellectual. That's the only way. That is why I say all these biggies will come to Canada, especially Toronto, such as Google head office. Uh, one of the North American Canadian head office will be here. And also Amazon, they all will come here because they called Canada the future intellectual country, okay? And then, so there's the north side. Now, northeast side is a bit tricky. North side is an unit center, governed by the number two. Okay, th what that means to you is if there will be natural problems about health issues, mainly from the northeastern part of continents or countries, okay, that also means the Quebec cross, which have been quiet for a little while, begin to make noise again. But nothing happens. It just make noise. Keep that in mind. Don't get too excited. All right? Now, the east part is the mobility center. They're governed by the number six. Okay? That means lots of changes and lots of uh, in and out immigration, emigration. That's mostly represented by Japan. So a lot of people coming in and out. You notice something? Since the current Japanese Prime Minister got re-elected, he's 10 times quieter than before. Interesting, they learned the lesson, okay? Now keep one thing in mind. Among countries in the world, there's nothing called virtue, nothing called mercy. 
it's only one word, profit. Okay, so if you're profitable to them, you're a friend, you're harm to them, you're an enemy. If you look back at history, country to country, only one rule. Okay, it's unfortunately it's a cruel fact. I hope this can change one of these days. But it won't change without a worldwide disaster. That's a hard part of it. Okay, so Japan, lots of traveling. Then on top of that, that means a lot of people will travel to Japan. Okay, which also happened to be one of the two most favorable places for travel by my younger son, James, and his wife. They always like to go to Japan or Hawaii. He told me once he wanted to retire in Hawaii. I said it caused a fortune. <laughs> okay, Southeast is a receding center and also a warring center, governed by the number seven. Most of it was represented by Taiwan. That means there's a lot of political issues. Pendulum is going to switch. The green cam is going to give in to the blue cam for this year. So major changes in Taiwan for that. That means the government will change this year. Okay, so very major. Okay, and then because it's receding, that means economically, southeastern countries are going to suffer. But that would also include places such as Indonesia. I mean, predicting a record year of earthquakes in that whole region, more so than 2018, okay? So if you go to Southeast Asia, make sure you don't walk on the crack on the ground. Make sure you, you're a long distance jumper. <laughs> Jump beyond the crack before you're falling, all right? But there will be tons of earthquakes because you're receding. And then politically becoming a bit unstable. So be careful about southeastern part. Now Hong Kong is between southeast and also south. South is the argument center, governed by the number three. That means there will be tremendous problem, tremendous record of political issues and robberies in South America. And lots of arguments in places such as India and also Africa. But the way I put it is as if the whole world was turning upside down. In fact, it is turning upside down. It's meant to be. Okay, so Hong Kong, very controversial because the people are caught in between two systems and some people got lost. But from a feng shui point of view, Hong Kong is a pearl. Like a pearl of the Orient, so it cannot go wrong. Two major sources of wealth in Asia the mouth of Shanghai, the uh, Yangtze River, and the Pearl River, okay? So that's, as long as you're close to water, you can go wrong. If you ever go to Guangzhou, one of these, some of my masterpieces, two of them anyways. One is a headquarters of Poly Group, right on the Pearl River. Another one is something called the Pajo, okay? Pipapa, the Pajo. The entire development, together with a very much so five-star hotel called the Continental Hotel, they were my masterpieces. Okay, so go take a look. You can be proud to say you know the guy behind the scene. Mm -hmm. So my advantage is when I stay in the hotels, always for free. <laughs> That's the only advantage. <laughs> Otherwise, the fee is two thousand dollars a night. Otherwise, okay. So very much so first class. So that's on, this, uh, on that side. Southwest side, okay, is called the Five Yellow Center. That means problems, political issues, instabilities, natural disasters. I'm predicting another major earthquake in southeast western China, such as Sichuan, once again this year. Okay, unfortunately it had to happen. Hopefully not as magnificent as I hoped as I calculated. But because that part, Southwest, it controls many places, mainly it would be, uh, if you look at it, including the Himalaya area, southwestern side of China. So you're going to see something going on, okay? But don't worry about that. It's good to know so you can avoid it. The West side is the most exciting. West is represented by United States, and Western Europe, but mainly the United States, is governed by two major forces. Number one, called speculative income. The second is called a triple conflict. 
good and bad. Speculating income meaning the stock market is going, going to shoot way up and way down because it's a double force, extreme positive, extreme negative, mixed. So if you are a stock broker or if you invest in stocks, make sure this part is strong enough so you can stop breathing for two minutes without dying. <laughs> Otherwise, don't touch it. Okay, it's very important to know that extremity, triple conflict arguments and unnecessary illegal conflict involvements. You see, this will be a lot of issues in the United States this year. One thing different between Americans and Canadians is that Canadians don't like to sue anyone. Americans, they like to sue everyone. Okay? So I always say, in USA, you better be a lawyer. In Canada, you better be a doctor, except now too many me tools, but anyways. <laughs> okay? Otherwise, you better be a doctor here. But in USA, 99% of doctors always get sued. If you are a plastic surgeon, the minimum number is lawsuits for a year. Average uh, half million dollars. Okay. I know that because I also advise many lawyers and also many doctors in USA. And that's why in USA a lot of doctors have no assets. All the assets are in the wife's name. That's why when they divorce, they all go broke. <laughs> Okay, and that's a fact, not a joke. That's so real. Okay, so they would beg their wife not to divorce them. <laughs> but they have no assets, nothing. All right? So that's the United States. But because of the triple conflict, USA would be involved in a lot of international issues, problems. So now, the second thing about politics, since we're touching, oh, Northwest almost missed that one. Northwest is one of the best centers, it's a joy center. So actually, Northwestern Europe would do well. In fact, one country I do enjoy the most is Norway. Anybody been there? If you go to Norway, you must visit the Glacier Bay. It's out of the world. Pure blue water, so calm. Except you feel sad when you reach the end, because glacier, half of it is gone. Only a little bit of glacier left. That's the only sad part. Okay, but Northwestern Europe would be doing well this year. Okay, now, pol politically, a lot of ask me, a lot of people ask me, is Donald Trump going to be in office? But, now, remember I said this is a year change. But I hate to say this, unless he doesn't want to run again. If he wants to run again, he still has a good chance. <laughs> he has still a good chance. Because he spoke, even though it's crazy, but he's actually speaking out something that majority of Americans are hiding in their hearts. But he spoke it out. <laughs> so a lot of Americans, I talked to my friends throughout USA, and in fact, even my students like him. I said, you guys are crazy, but anyways. My American friends all love Donald Trump because he supports Israel and he fights ISIS. Those are the key issues. Well, actually, uh, this winning slogan, jobs for the Americans. Yeah. How come our Canadian government doesn't say that? <laughs> jobs for the Canadians. But anyways, well, tomorrow I will be in Florida, actually. Six o'clock flight. I'll be there for four days to see my 26 clients from West Palm Beach to South Miami once a year. And last year I've been twice to Los Angeles. Same day return. Fly in the morning, come back overnight. Okay, to help some uh, logistic companies in LA. So that's what I do, just crazy traveler. Okay, so uh, still problems between USA and many parts of the world, still arguments. The only way the government in USA will change is if the Democrats come up with someone. But the moment they came up with someone, something went wrong. Even Sanders went wrong to remember the news last week some kind of harassment or something. <laughs> yeah, okay. The only way to, you know the best way to kill the Me Too motion? Have a, <laughs> have a male come up and say he's harassed arrest by the female doctor by female something. They reverse the clock. <laughs> Otherwise it's never going to end because there's so many talk. Now politically, China, is going through a, a period of stability, surprisingly. Government is not going to change much. 
all this corruption thing will be under control. So not much to talk about there. They're changing the uh, economic emphasis. Now, one thing most people don't realize, over thousands of years, China never need to depend on other countries because the diversity and the population. Population, don't forget, is money, is market. So they got enough domestic market to be self-sustaining. So people don't realize the point. If you visit China so often, observe it, you, you'll be surprised. But the nature of jobs change. What's killing them for now is Alibaba, for example. Mm -hmm. Too many online shopping, it's tough, companies. So uh, remember one and a half years ago, a client of mine called me from Fujian. In Fuching, they are trying to set up uh, a mall, a big mall. I told them, you know, first thing I told them, stop, kill it. They said, why? You'll be sorry. You know what? They didn't kill it. One month later, they called me back. The major shareholder went bankrupt. And the other, my client, who's the number three shareholder, got stuck with millions of dollars. Okay, he's, he's, he said he should have listened to me. I said, and he, how did I know? I said, because retail malls are yesterday. Don't put money in malls. So he said, what can I suggest to save their lives? I said, talk to the government, talk to investors, transform your mall to condominiums. And he did that and he made money a year later. You had to see what's going on to predict the future, okay? So as the uh, friendship between Japan is very interesting. Now, we didn't talk too much about uh, Korea. Mm -hmm. The very interesting is the two Koreas are going to shake hands more often. Shake hands more often. It's tricky situation, but working well. Okay, so don't underestimate the power. Now, what about Hong Kong? Hong Kong and Toronto has something similar. Both are on the south and southeast side of the whole continent. So I would say these two places are lucky places. Lots of instabilities this year, okay, because Hong Kong, for example, the manufacturing sector is gone. But one thing I still don't understand, maybe some can explain it. Why do they charge such high rent when there's no business? So that's something they really need to think about. Toronto uh, is very important for the as long as financially is concerned. Let really us say, according to the media, it's going to collapse. Will be lots of new houses, new subdivisions closing, and people have no money to close. It's going to kill the market. Actually, I think the opposite could be true. Because it's double earth year. The number one best business for this year is real estate. Real estate is earth is earth. Toronto can go wrong. It's where you do it. So within Toronto, the key areas that real estate would do well, Central, which is North, uh, Willowdale, North York. If you build a house about 20,000 square feet up, you still have a market. Okay, in fact, I'm helping a developer, a builder, I don't know if you heard about, uh, Valley Me Homes, they only build homes over 10,000 square feet and I'm a chief advisor to the corporation. Okay, I told them when to build, when to stop. Okay. All right, so that's <coughs> in Memphis Garden Postal Area. Uh, in fact, after the, the meeting here, I had to go to Postal by two something. They had to wait for me, I guess. <laughs> okay, and now, uh, the other one that's really good, Richmond Hill. Last year, Flint area su suffered a lot, those far away area. Okay, if you can hold on, it will come back good. Okay, and then Northeast, which is Markham also would do well, but because of the fact that this is the receding area, we're gonna see a lot of political restructuring that can affect economics in the region of entire GTA. In fact, if you read the news, uh, Ford just announced it's going to take a new look at the region. Mm -hmm. Everybody heard? And that's all the writings on the wall, actually. Because for 2019, 
GTA must go through changes because it belongs to the receiving center. All right. Now, so what about the if you travel to uh, the South America area, America area, which belong to the triple con uh, conflict, not triple conflict argument center? Just be careful about pickpockets this year. This will be a record year for pickpockets in both southern regions of that means South America and also Southern Europe. Okay, now. So that's world economy, the one word, big ups, big downs. Big ups, big downs. So if you do short-term investment, please have a strong health, mind, and body. Make sure you don't need to sleep <laughs> to look after it. For long term, such as real estate, you're fine. But uh, the way I advise people in this city, Toronto, for real estate, don't buy something beyond your means. You have to take always the worst scenario. If you can survive one year with the worst scenario, buy it. If you cannot, don't touch it. Okay, that's my advice. Okay. Now, as the well pattern, uh, weather pattern is concerned, okay, last year I already said uh, in 2018 and seemed to have happened. Western part like California, extremely dry, ex lots of fires. In fact, I think they almost got burned down. And then lots of water south in the east and southeastern part. Okay, what about 2019? 2019 Northwest is a fire center. So that means there will be forest fires in northern BC, British Columbia. Okay, and also the southwestern part, especially the uh, Toronto region and even further southeast, lots of water. Because the Yijing is the Yijing of water. That's receding, anyways. So that means 2019 is similar to 2018 for one thing. Lots of extremities in weather, just like economy. Isn't that exciting to be able to live in, in this time of history? Don't forget, the moment every word I said all become history. <laughs> so we're living in a history, historical moment of this uh, period in, in the world history, okay? major changes going to happen. But don't worry, okay? If you don't have that tomorrow's dollars, don't spend it yet. That's the key. If you owe a credit card a dollar, better pay off one and a half dollars. That way you're safer. Because it's a long shock. Okay, so now, so for the major thing that everybody's been waiting would be to do with horoscopes, mm -hmm. I think. We may sound a little too heavy when I talk about the world and I had to be heavy because this is a heavy year. Okay? Now, anybody born in the year of the pig? Wow. Lots of young pigs. <laughs> Good looking ones. Bob. 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 Yeah, Bob is still mm -hmm. a young kid. <laughs> Bob is one of the few people I absolutely respect from my heart. Conscientious, responsible, high energy, never stop, okay, and always return phone calls, that's the most important. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. yeah. Bob. Okay. So I think Bob would be a good mentor for all of us. Okay. I, I'm proud to, to know you for that. So the pick people, now, I'll, there are two schools of thought. They say if you're picking the pig, you're going to go garbage. But yes and no. Because if you pick year in a, you're born in the pig in a pig year, that means you should pay more attention to your health. And don't gamble. I don't think people at Bob's age or my age would gamble anyways. You don't gamble, right? Yeah. Okay, maybe just take a few looks at, eh? Not much. No, so some, some gambling. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gambling. A dollar here. Or there. Actually, how much is six forty nine now? Two dollars or five dollars? I never bought one for so long. I don't even know. <laughs> but anyways, so remember uh, and don't gamble. Rest well. Do more exercise. Travel more. Travel for the pig. Okay. And what about people? And pig people are very spiritual this year. So if you're a philosopher like me, or if you're a teacher, you should be okay. That's a big. 
Okay, remember travel is the key. Mm -hmm. Now this <laughs> rats. Any rats here? Number one romantic sign this year. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's let's look at this romantic people. <laughs> okay, so if you're born in either red, you're in the PR business, you're dealing with people, you're doing sales and marketing, you should do fantastic, marvelous. Lots of very good people relations. And you can help a lot of people. How, how many rats did we say? One, two, three. Who's the youngest red here? <laughs> okay, that means Mickey Mouse should do well, right? This in the world. So for reds, don't, don't worry. Just go meet more people, have more fun with them. Now, anybody born either ox? Or if you don't know, tell me the year, I'll tell you. Any ox? No? The number one most top and sign. Of all. <laughs> now the ox and the pig on the surface is neutral, but they are not neutral. Because the pig with an ox together with a rat person form a platinum connection of water. So that means ox financially and investment wise should do well this year because of the hidden connection. The only one thing about the ox people in general, watch out your diet. You can eat tend to abuse yourself by eating the wrong stuff or eating too much. Get into stomach and spleen issues, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so the ox people, not bad, don't worry. And also if you are in a business to do with accounting or real estate and your ox, 2019 is for you. Okay, any tiger people? Wow, only two? Wow. So a lot of people are not tired. They're hidden, right? They're hidden. Okay. Don't forget, in my eyes, everybody is one or two years older than they should be. <laughs> then we use something called lunar age. <laughs> okay. You know, anybody heard about the word lunar age? No? In Chinese, we always up the age a bit. You know why? Because in our uh, tradition, we define beginning of life differently. Western culture defines life to begin at birth. We define life to begin at conception. And we emphasize something called fetal education. In the mommy's tummy, this little bugger is actually learning. So when mother is pregnant, don't swear. Don't say bad words. <laughs> Otherwise, the baby is born to say the first F word. You don't want to do that. <laughs> but tigers connect with the pig into civil connection, but also a big conflict. Good and bad. So on the good side, tigers in the power, authority, so become a leader. Okay. And if you're a tiger, you're in a legal business, you're a lawyer, you are a police, you're an, a government official, you do fantastic. Or if you're in management, you do fantastic. Okay. If you're a doctor, be careful about me too. Because there's a legal sign associated with a tiger. So be careful about it. So make sure everything is done properly and okay and without any conflicts. And the, there's a bit of uh, blood sign associated with it. So if you are a tiger person, you're surgeon or anything to do blood dentist, you do marvelous. So you always look at it positively. And the rabbits, number one sign, triple connection with the pig. Okay, so a lot of signs need to wrap it. Wrap it for change that's extremely well. Okay, second best year. Last year was good, this year better. Okay, so if you're a rabbit and you're in a public relation business, you're dealing with people, you're doing with uh, coordination of things, you, your human resources, event management, congratulations for the rabbit. Okay? Because you know you. Oh, yes. <laughs> that's a hidden secret. I knew her when she was a kid. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. <laughs> Any dragons? Okay, wow. Drag <laughs> dragons can also move around. Dragons are the key sign with a big sign called the sign of fortune. Okay, in the Chinese New Year, don't forget you guys should play the fortune god, called the fortune. So the lucky sign is there. So dragon people, are into a lucky year, 
So if they last year was bad because dragon and dog are opposite, so this year's a breakthrough year. Your dreams make it come true. Don't be chicken. If you are not sure about something, you can ask me or just go for it. What the heck? You have the lucky sign. Okay? And with the travel, so if you're in travel business, immigration business, or anything to do with uh, bringing people, uh, solving people problems, and you're a dragon, you're good. Snake, any snakes? Snake usually is the best looking sign of all the 12 signs, the sexiest. Let's see if he's sexy or not. <laughs> Snake and pig are opposite. Snake and pig are opposite. What that means is you must not gamble. Don't go to all these underground casinos, okay? <laughs> or about ground casinos. Okay, so don't gamble, period. And but the number one mobility sign is this is a snake. Okay, so if you're a trader, international trader, you're import export or logistic business, you're doing going out a lot, you should do very well. Don't stay behind the desk. Try to be more mobile. The more mobile the better you do. And spend some money. Buy something for your wife or husband or whatever. Okay, spend some money because you need to spend money. There's a money spending sign. But put it to a good use or buy a house for long term gain. So lose now, you gain later. Things like that. That's how you can counteract the opposition. Okay. Now the next sign is a horse. Wow. Lots of, the number one highest energy sign. Okay. My older son is horse too. When I was young, I could never get him to quiet down. <laughs> so, no. so anyways, horses are also into authority and power. So if you are in management positions to do well, if not yet ask your boss that seafood boss said you should be promoted. <laughs> <laughs> should be in the power position. Some book says the horses are terrible, but it's not true. Horses do well this year. Okay? Because horses and pigs are fairly neutral, and because the authority sign, but don't forget there's also an accident sign. So for the horse people when you're driving, please pay more uh, attention and don't keep looking up the bus because the police is watching you from the bus <laughs> whether you're on the cell phone or not. I'm sneaky. Eh? Sometimes you wonder. You know Toronto police is famous for one thing. If there's a problem, the first thing they do, are the robbers gone yet? When they're gone, they come. But they're still here. I, I have finished my Tim Horton first. <laughs> Okay, but to get your traf uh, traffic ticket immediately. Uh, because you know you're not going to shoot him anyways. <laughs> Except when you're on the Trans-Canada Highway, they'll shoot you. <laughs> That's a different one. But nobody could see you. <laughs> so the horse, remember, okay, be a good manager. Sheep or goat or ram. This was the biggest argument sign. Because during the year of the sheep, CBC, Call me ten times, coast to coast. Whether the year that year should be called sheep or ram or goat, <laughs> I said, "Wow!" And all the ten CBC radio stations asked one question only, from Newfoundland to Victoria, BC. And I was four hours in the car. Every time the phone rang, I stopped by the curb, flashlight. Yes, <laughs> couldn't wait until I get home. That year was exciting. So whichever way doesn't matter. Sheep is good. Because the sheep and the pig form a golden connection, but it's missing something. So even though they're riding high, but it's very unstable. So to stabilize the sheep, you need a rabbit. Because pig rabbit should form a gold, true golden connection. So that's how you should handle it. Okay? So the sheep into power, into promotion, into expansion, if you are self-employed, if you're employed by other people, so get a buddy, bunny, the rabbit, you do better that way. If your boss is a rabbit, you're laughing to the bank. Monkeys. Any monkeys? Okay, monkeys are into kind of, um, what do you call it? Philosophical, I should use the word. They like to be left alone. They like to think. They like to try, move around. So monkeys for this year, as work is concerned, it's a very solid year. 
solid year. Okay, but the monkey and the pig had a very funny relation about people. So for the monkey people, if they're already married, they seem to have some kind of cold war <laughs> with the spouse. So it should open up a bit more. People relations ups and downs a bit. So for the monkey people, just pay more attention to people relations. The rest will be easy. Money should be good. Roosters. Roosters are the number two most romantic sign this year. No roosters? I couldn't believe it. <laughs> okay, anyways, roosters have two things stand out for them. Number one is relations, romances. Number two, traveling too. So if you're born in the year of the rooster, feel free to travel. So if you're in a trading business, travel business, logistic business, roosters, big through year. Much better than last year. Last year was terrible for most roosters. And the last but not least, the dog. Have you been working like a dog recently? <laughs> <laughs> Dogs and pigs, we call them the best friends. Whenever you see two people, wow, hugging each other very nice together, they say, wow, you guys are like pigs and dogs. They make best friends. That means that he is helping you. So if you are born in a dog, you are into fame and position. It's on Hollywood. <laughs> okay, so the dogs in general do much better this year than last year. Actually, it's very funny, because at the beginning I mentioned about cutover day and night, cutover seasons. Life is the same. When you're in a terrible year, usually next year is much better. So the conclusion is, oh, life is never a straight line. A heartbeat is never like this. If a heartbeat is like this, we're gone. A heartbeat is ups and downs. So life is ups and downs. So by recognizing how to handle it when you're down, how to handle it when you're up, you get your, you control your life in your hands. The whole idea of these predictions is to help my friends here how to better control your life and have a better life. Thank you. <laughs> no, there's a little bit of souvenir, but I don't th think we have enough copies. Everybody know this guy? <laughs> it's not for sale. It's a gift, and. I put something on the table. Should we bring them in? Or you pick them up? No, I don't want everybody to become a chaos and run and get it. One at a time. I don't think there are enough copies, but do your luck. Do your best. Thank you very much, and Happy New Year. Before we go, uh, I'm sure a lot of people will want to take pictures with you, but I want to ask the directors. Uh, Three, okay, one, two, two let's go. Please.